Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. We're continuing on our series of investigating Nutanix Flow, which is the micro-segmentation or virtual firewall product available from Nutanix. So we've protected our app, we've made categories. The next step is really to protect what we call environments. You can see on the screen that we have a ton of different categories available, things like locations, so Chicago, Atlanta, Nashville, or uh, even environments like prod, dev, test, DMZ, DR, test dev, HR. Maybe you don't want production talking to dev. It's actually been comical sometimes and sad with customers where I've been on site and they've had outages because somebody pushed something to production from dev that they shouldn't have or the code wasn't updated so that it was pro talking to the correct database server. So it was querying production workloads instead of querying the development workloads or vice versa. So with Flow, it's actually very easy to block that traffic. With categories, you can just say, hey, everything that's in production cannot talk to dev or vice versa. Or workloads that are in Chicago should not be able to talk to Nashville. So let's go on that journey. Looking at our Faro app, you can see that I've actually added a development app server. This is still a part of Faro, but since it's dev, we're going to be doing some work on there. You can see it's still on my same network, it's on the same cluster. Let's take a look at the categories. I've tagged it as environment dev, then the app type is Faro, and the app tier is app since it's an application server. And it is getting all those security policies that we've defined in a previous video. Go ahead and cancel out of this real quick. All my other VMs in Faro are classified as production. If we go to the console of that development app server, you can see I'm doing a couple pings. This top one is the app server actively pinging the production database server, which we don't want. We want that traffic to be blocked because we want to sanitize our dev environment and not have any PII on it. The bottom ping that's going on is from my normal Faro security policies that we have set up because we've made it so that app servers can't talk to the proxy servers. It actually should be going in the reverse direction. So that traffic is being blocked. But what we want to do is use flow to make the top ping impossible. We don't want dev to talk to prod. We go back to Prism and then look at our security categories, or security policy, sorry. We'll go ahead and create a new security policy. So we have our regular Faro security policy, but we want to make one for our environments. So there's actually this isolation policy. We'll select that, hit create. And we go ahead and give the policy a name. I'm going to just type out separate prod and dev. And you'll notice this is not Faro specific. This is everything prod and dev should not be able to talk to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and put a purpose to remind my security team what it is for. And then you just simply select which two categories you want to uh, separate. So I'm going to type out prod and dev and then select those in the drop down as keeping those separate. And you can apply these policies to your entire environment or if you check this box say hey only for this other category like maybe we only want the Faro prod and dev to not be able to talk to each other or you could say a specific location or another subset of applications uh, can be categorized here I'm not going to do that with this but just want to make sure you knew this feature was available and now we are going to do this in real time I'm going to hit apply now and this part is not edited so we're going to now go to console and we can see that it is already timing out. So in under five seconds, the policies are applied. This is exactly what we want. We do not want Pharaohs, prod, and dev to talk to each other, or anything else in my environment that is labeled as either dev or production should not be able to talk to each other. So the traffic is blocked, and that's exactly what we want to happen. So the isolation policy takes precedence over a regular security policy when you secure an application and we can prove that here all right so remember we've got the 
favor of security policy where we're protecting different tiers in the apps, but we have this other uh, isolation policy down at the bottom to keep prod and dev from talking with each other. And those take precedent. And that's how we protect an environment using an isolation policy. Remember that the isolation policy does take precedence over an application security policy. Uh, so just remember that when you are creating your policies, that if you do have a block using an isolation policy, that will take precedence, which means it'll be enforced before the blocks from your application security policy. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Feel free to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel or check out my website, ewoms.net, for blog posts and videos as well. Have a good one.